The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. All right, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we'll take a look here at the German DAX like we usually do under a great deal of pressure. No surprise. Following that, you can see the FTSE under a great deal of pressure. No surprise. We had a big move up in stocks yesterday, not because of the Dow Jones, of course, but because of those uh, 70 to 100 stocks in the S&P and the uh, NASDAQ. We took the NASDAQ into new high ground uh, by easy amount. In fact, it rallied uh, 50 points right after the close and then dropped back down again. But uh, it's interesting to see what will be happening here uh, this morning. High probability of being a down day, but that's neither here nor there. Folks, I, we have a, Tim Bost is going to be our guest today. Remember, tomorrow we've got Bill Meridian on. Uh, for the whole show. So that'll be very, very interesting. But let me just uh, walk through what we were talking about yesterday, and that was that situation in the euro. I just want to walk through just to show you what I do in the morning and why my time in the morning is uh, really busy the first hour or so. After that, you know, it's Sleep City. <laughs> I don't sleep any other time. But anyway, uh, you'll notice here that level here at this uh, 111. You see the importance of that uh, important support. And we've got down there just absolutely uh, spot on like we were looking to to see how it was going to happen and what 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 I'd like to show you here is what we're looking at here is the uh, the euro I'm going to bring up the forecast for the AI program this is the artificial intelligence program that I've worked with it's a neural network as you can see we took out those lows down there and to me that was a very low risk trade because there were no stops down there folks i mean that's uh, there should have been a big volume spike much like we had when that ecb did anything and you can see the market rallied um, you know $600 you know straight up now if this is correct and let's just follow it today just to, uh, you know amuse me a little bit uh, we should be coming down till about 10 o'clock for about an hour now if we come down at 10 o'clock and you're setting at a really nice uh, retracement level or possibly even testing the low, that's going to be a very, very low risk trading opportunity exactly at about 10.05, 10.10. So watch that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm taking this. This is done 24 hours in advance. Doesn't change. You could run it, you know, three or four times midday. It won't change that forecast at all. So the key time of the day for the euro is 10 o'clock. What we'll do tomorrow to start the show right after the DAX and the uh, FTSE, we'll look to see what that euro did for the day to see if it was right or wrong. Remember, it's only right about 70% of the time, but, you know, not many baseball players hit 700%. Okay, the dollar index, David is telling us that uh, we got up to that 97. In fact, I, I think I kept that uh, dollar uh, index up because uh, if we break much above that 98. No, I did it with the euro. I didn't do it with the uh, with the dollar index. I wanted to share one other one with you because we had so much going on with the ECB. This was the uh, AI forecast for the uh, Treasury bonds. That high up there, folks, at 155.16 was a 61% retracement of that whole move. Uh, you know, we've had a little four-day rally there, and that was the high of that move. And you can see it's dropped a thousand dollars. Uh, in a matter of about 30 minutes. And so uh, that's a that's a real easy, nice setup when you get those. You don't always get them, but when you do, you know, that's what you're looking for. So we'll keep a very, very close eye on that as we walk through here. Folks, um, the uh, silver has uh, made another high than yesterday by one half of a cent. The high yesterday was 15.68 per ounce. The high today was 15.68.50 per ounce, and we backed off. You know, <laughs> Chuck is saying, you're right. That's, Chuck is saying airline pilots are right 100% of the time, except for the one time they're wrong. The secret to flying, Chuck, is to make sure you have as many good landings as you do takeoffs. Boy, I tell you, I those well, some of you folks know me pretty well because you've been out to visit me here, you know, several times here in Tucson. But I sleep better 
on an airplane than any place. In fact, Sarah has suggested that we buy an old airline seat and put it up in the den and let me sit there because once I get on a plane, you know, I'm I'm sound asleep before that thing ever goes off, especially on those big flights, you know, Hong Kong, Europe and places like that. You know, I don't wake up till two or three hours later. I don't know what it is. It must be the sound of the plane or whatever it is, but it just makes me uh, uh, makes me very, very sleepy. Okay, uh, let's talk just a little bit more uh, about these uh, Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. The fact that they came off so much and the fact that they, this is supposedly, now this is a news related, which I'm not very good at, The uh, well, I don't follow it. The uh, and I'm still not very good at it, but uh, it, it's basically related supposedly to the European Central Bank not doing anything with their rates. That's the key, you know, to uh, what we're watching here. If that uh, if that is the case, so who knows? Anyway, let's pay pay close attention to that. That'll be how the news works because if we don't lower our rates, that will be a big surprise. And you know, the market usually doesn't like surprises, but it goes straight up. Not every day, but, uh, you know, there'll be some corrections here along the way, and we'll see if uh, how that works. But the euro is a key one to watch today, folks. Very, very interesting at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's another uh, 38 minutes, 48 minutes from where we are right now. So that's something that we uh, really ought to uh, focus on uh, closely. Oh, one very, very important one, folks. I did a special thing last night, and boy, if I've lost it, I'm going to be upset. Nope. Just a minute here. Uh, just a second. Where is it? It's the natural gas because we have, we talked about this natural gas yesterday. Oh, Larry, 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 what did you do with it? Ah, oh, shut the front door and race. I'll have to do it at the break, I guess, because the natural gas has got down to that real key level, folks, at 222. And uh, we hit 221.90 yesterday. Where I, the last I saw this morning, it was trading at 223. Folks, if natural gas gets below that 221 level, uh, you don't you don't want to be in it. I mean, you know, it, it came right back down to that area that was support, 220, 222. And it hasn't moved yet, but it, you know, it did go down a little bit lower, you know, only about a dollar. So anything below that, you know, you have to assume that you're probably going to be wrong. So that's one that you should, uh, you know, pay, you know, relatively close attention to. So anyway, that's what we're watching. Now, last year, you remember yesterday, uh, those of you that belong to the 24-7, I sent out the video. Um, I got a new way of doing videos. Uh, John Jameson uh, being here is a huge help. I know how to copy and paste now, folks. Can you believe that? My next step is to learn how to open a browser. This is my schedule for today. And uh, but uh, he showed me how to do a couple of quick things of doing videos a different way. Uh, actually, instead of paying for it like I have been, I a, there's a program called Snagit that I paid for that's like 39 bucks that works better than the one that I'd been using by a far stretch of the imagination. And so I've been using that. I'm able to send them out, do them faster, so it's great. But the key uh, in the gold yesterday was uh, 14. 34. That was a double ABCD pattern. I'm going to let you put that up there to do it yourself. Like Twentyman says, defy human nature. Do the work yourself. But uh, we'll take, take a look at this. Anything above 1434 in gold, folks, is not bearish. But right now it's looking a little weak. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, let's take a look here at the natural gas weekly chart. This is the one we've been focusing on. You can see we're trading this morning at 224. The low yesterday was one penny below 222, 121.90. And so that is a very, very important spot because if it fails, you're looking at 210 and you don't want to sit there with a $2,200 loss as the market makes a new low. So make sure you put a stop in there. And you'll see here on the daily, it's going to be uh, even as clear um, as clear the importance of it. But you can notice here, we, tuck, we took, took out those lows of last Thursday by just a buck. We went to 221.90. We're trading at 224. You don't want it to go below 221.90 again. That's the whole beauty, if there is such a thing in charts, is that it gives you a place to say, this is it. I got to play here or I can't play at all. So that's a uh, that's my two cents worth. So you don't want to get anything below that level. You know, it was a great buy at 223. And uh, if it doesn't go below, if it goes below 221.90, you know, wait and see you know, the next uh, pattern. That's uh, really all you can do. So uh, that's, you know, neither here nor there. Okay. I hope you uh, can understand that in, in my little vernacular from old Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, I have to. Well, no, I don't want to. <laughs> well, I have to tell you a funny story. Okay, John. John Jameson is here visiting with me, and we were um, watching a uh, a, a documentary special uh, last night. And uh, I'm watching what's going on, and John is watching the art objects that are that are featured in the <laughs> in the thing. I mean, he it, he really understands art, but I, you know, I, I just see him as pictures on the wall, so. It's a really, uh, I, I really ask myself, my gosh, the, the mindsets between what he does and what I do is just, uh, uh, well, let's give me an example. Let's, let's say I'm, I'm a laborer putting bricks out, uh, you know, to build a house, and he's over at the uh, University of Arizona Aeronautical Division getting ready to land something on Mars. So uh, we, we get along okay, but boy, he's, uh, he's in a different stratosphere when it comes to brain. So, all right, let's, it's be, it'd be like working here with uh, Basil, Steve Rhodes, and, and uh, 
uh, David White and Tom O'Brien all at the same time. So we'll take a look at it. Anyway, pay pay close attention to that, folks, at that 221 in there. Uh, that's it. Oh, and Russ is telling us that there's a 1030 a.m. It'd be in about an hour or so inventory report on natural gas. So that'll either be uh, a good or bad. So you just don't want to uh, mess with. I don't really follow reports very much, Russ. So I hope that uh, is some type of an indication of what we're looking at. I wanted to uh, bring this silver chart up one more time. Someone's asked a question about it because the action that we've had in silver this week is very, very strange. Remember last week's high in silver was 1665 and a half. Then we had a higher high at 1667, and then we had a higher high at 1668, and then we had a higher high today at 1668.50, and the market immediately dropped 20 cents. So that's the, the main thing that we're watching here is the fact that that would be something that uh, you might want to keep an eye on for a possible really, really strong spot of uh, watching, uh, you know, whether silver is going to be backing down because that number that we hit in gold last night at 1434 was just absolutely spot on. As a matter of fact, we should bring this up just to uh, give you a little bit of a chance here and to show you what we're looking at. Let me get the uh, gold chart and we'll be able to uh, bring it up without too much trouble. I don't believe I think we can. Yep. Hold on just a second here. Oh, there we are. Oh, no, that's not the one I want. Hold on. Yeah, there it is. We'll be okay. Just give me a second here, and we should be just fine. Oh, no, no, no. Where is it, Larry? No, come on, please. Ah, there we go. Hold on a second. You'll be able to see it uh, very easily. Hold on. I've got to draw it. Just give me a second. I'm not going to panic. All right, let's get it up here. All right, there's the first. We did this on the air yesterday, for heaven's sakes. Let's do it again. Anyway, uh, well, it's not working, so we'll just definitely have to take a look at it. You're going to have to give me uh, a second or two right now because uh, Cy Monley is asking me a question, and I have to be able to take care of my uh, main sub. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's uh, Anyway, that's quite funny. Anyway, let's... Uh, Folks, the the reason why uh, uh, Cy was letting me know, folks, we've got a, a new moon uh, coming up here uh, on uh, next uh, uh, the 31st. That's a, a week from yesterday. So uh, we want to be watching that very, very closely because we've got some really nice patterns unfolding in the um, uh, corn and wheat. I sent those out in a video last night. Uh, very, very interesting to take a quick look at those. Soybeans are doing the same thing. And remember, we've been through all this tariff stuff, and these markets are still holding up pretty well because there's still problems with the with the market for, uh, oh, you know, corn and beans, especially for corn. So we'll see whether that's going to be uh, the main thing uh, or not. So let me do one other thing. I'm trying to find that doggone chart, and I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, Ah, here we are. Let's just get it up here, and now we'll be ready. Just give me one second to do this. I think it's worthy to see it because I'm, I when I get ready to trade, like I'm watching key levels, I go down to a, a smaller time frame, and that's what gives me the, uh, you know, the areas that I like to see, you know, happening. And this is be one that you'll be able to spot quite easily uh, in the gold because it was a uh, really nice retracement uh, off the bottom. Uh, if you remember the harmonic numbers, of course, you know, are uh, 17 and 34. You add that 17, it takes you right up to that 34 level. The high was 34.10. We're now trading at uh, 14.23. That's down uh, $1,100 in a matter of uh, just about an hour. That tells you that there's some type of a high was made in gold at that time. That's when silver was making that high that we had at the um, – 60, uh, 16, 68, 50. A new high by half a cent in silver. Give me a break, boys and girls. I mean, you should expect it to really go blasting through uh, if that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. So sort of pay attention to that. It's uh, very, very interesting to see if it's uh, going to, to happen. Someone's asked a question about the, uh, the bonds and the interest rate stuffs. Folks, I don't know. 
you know, I, I hear the stories of negative interest rates. If we get bonds above uh, 158, 159 again, then I'm going to have to say, yeah, there's probably going to be negative interest rates. I, you know, these guys are really smart that are out there, Ray Dalio and David Ackerman and, you know, all the other guys, you know, they're talking, uh, Paul Tudor Jones. It just does not make economic sense to me. Uh, if any of you want me to handle your money and pay me for doing it, please get in touch with me. A minimum account is $100,000, and I'll be happy to take care of it. All I'm only, I'm only going to charge you $700 uh, to do it. So if you're going to do in negative interest rates, you might well do it with someone that you love and trust. We'll be right back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've got Tim Bost out of Sarasota, Florida, Financial Cycles Weekly on the line. Tim, how are you doing today? I'm excellent, Larry. How about yourself? 
Still above ground, staying away from open graves. Works for me every day. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I think you've got a birthday coming up this weekend, so we'll see if we can do it another year. How's why that? do you bring these things up? You know what I did about five years ago, Tim, and it's worked really well for me? I start giving my birthdays away a day early to people that are 20 years old that want to start drinking early. <laughs> And that's worked really well for me, so I'm going to that's continue excellent. doing that. <laughs> well, if, if you're an astrologer, if we get you your birthday, you're in big trouble. So let's put it that way. Yeah. How's that? Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I have the same birth date as uh, Ralph Elliott, which is uh, quite unusual, you know. So I think that's uh, funny. And not only that, but I have uh, uh, three or four of my students, my favorite students, actually, are I have a birthday. And then, of course, my super, super duper favorite student, is the uh, birthday is going to be on Friday. Friday, the 26th, and he's setting about three miles due west of you right now. Anyway, let's. Uh, what, are you, what are you seeing right now? First of all, we have a question about the Bitcoin. Uh, you've been very, very accurate on that lately. Uh, we're trading down or in that 9,000 range. Are you seeing anything in Bitcoin that looks interesting, Tim? Well, uh, we still remain long-term bullish uh, uh, with Bitcoin, and one of the interesting things that's been uh, going on with the, with the recent uh, uh, news about Facebook's uh, venture into the crypto space uh, that has really skewed uh, the, the dynamic for the cryptocurrency markets uh, overall, with uh, people trying to figure out what the heck uh, this is all about. So uh, that, that's a little bit of an anomaly that we're dealing with uh, short term. Uh, but based on our cycle work, uh, we're still looking looking for a move upward uh, in Bitcoin shorter term here mm -hmm. into about the 6th, 7th of August. Uh, and uh, I've still got a target of almost uh, 14,000 for, for, for that uh, uh, time frame. So we'll see if that plays mm -hmm. out or not. Uh, it's, it certainly uh, uh, has the potential to, to do that. Uh, and so whether or not the, the short-term play uh, turns out for us uh, to, uh, to our advantage, uh, longer term, we, we remain uh, solidly bullish. We think this is a mature market uh, and uh, deserves uh, continuing attention. Uh, Tim, you've got a chart up here on your AstroCycles projections that you sent out the last time we were on the O. And I have to give you know give you a big hands, uh, the sound of one hand clapping because it's certainly been <laughs> spot on. And here we are on the 25th where you've got your point A there, and of course point B, I believe, is a is that some type related to the Bradley model, um, Tim? Well, uh, this is kind of a derivation of the Bradley model, a, mo a modification uh, of that. Uh, what Bradley did was basically weight uh, planetary uh, factors uh, uh, as being positive or negative uh, for the markets. And, and uh, it, uh, the Bradley model does a pretty good job of uh, uh, nailing the inflection points in the markets, the turning points, uh, but not always in the right direction. Sometimes the model inverts here. So that's a, a mm -hmm. challenge with any kind of cycle work, as, as you well know. Uh, what that point A on the chart is, is actually coming up next Monday. That is the uh, Poseidon uh, direct station uh, that's coming up then. Uh, we expect a little bit of a move in the S&P uh, up to uh, that point. Uh, a little bit of leveling off and point B uh, coming in there will be August the 11th. Uh, that is okay. a, uh, a very remarkable date. Uh, and actually all of these uh, uh, points that we flagged on this uh, chart this time around uh, are associated with planetary stations. Uh, yeah. When there's a, a, a movement uh, forward or backward in the, from the uh, Earth's perspective in the orbit of a planet, uh, we want to pay attention to those times when a planet goes retrograde or resumes uh, direct motion. Uh, so... At point B on August the 11th, we have two planetary stations occurring simultaneously. Uh, Jupiter will be going direct, and Uranus will be going retrograde. Uh, so wow. we're watching that date in particular as a very significant uh, potential high uh, in the markets around that time. Tim, we have a question for one of our listeners here at TFNN. What does Poseidon have to do with this? Well, Poseidon is one of the uh, trans-Neptunian factors uh, that we track, uh, and these are uh, outer... Uh, you know, out, outside the, the known reaches of the solar system, they're actually Kuiper Belt objects. Uh, and what we've discovered is that they create kind of a standing wave effect uh, against which a lot of the uh, shorter-term market dynamics play out. Uh, so we we flag these and we do our back testing, of course, with all of these uh, uh, planetary cycles uh, to see how they've in, impacted the markets in the past. Uh, so we have the correlations uh, uh, time-wise. Uh, we, we can look in 
in past history and, and project into the future, of course, uh -huh. uh, when these plants will, will uh, do these certain kinds of movements. And then all we do is go back and look at the corresponding dates with the markets and see, is there any correlation? Uh, so uh, we believe Poseidon will have this effect of a kind of a short-term uh, top in the markets, a fairly minor move down. Uh, but we're looking at that as the first big inflection point coming up in the, in the next couple of weeks here. Well, you know, you have to take your hat off to you, Tim, because you're always in that top running for market timing along with, uh, you know, Steve Rhodes and uh, Arch Crawford and some of the other folks that are on. Carrie Szymanski's in there, too, so there must yeah, be something good company. to this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good company. And, it, and not only that, but the fact that it, it actually works. You know, one of, my, one of my things on my bucket list, it's like number four, I think, is that I would like to see – uh, a segment on CNBC or Bloomberg for maybe five minutes uh, about astro harmonic cycles and stuff like that. And it'll come from place like MIT, Harvard, you know, Yale or someplace where the the erudites are. And uh, I'm sure that's what they'll talk about. But that's what I believe, you know, we might be able to do that. I mean, you remember Louis Rukeyser? Do you remember his of show? Of course. You're yeah, right. he, used to have George, he used to have George Lindsay on. Uh, okay. He used to rather, he did three peaks in a domed house. And uh, he was rather uh, eccentric, to say the least. But he talked about that to somewhat. And uh, it was uh, it was always very interesting to me, but it wasn't until 1986 and 87. I met Arch in 87. Of course, he lives down uh -huh. the street from me now. But I still look at it. I don't understand it a lot, but I can see bits and pieces of it. That's the... That's the thing. When I see these Mercury retrogrades and full moons and new moons, my goodness, uh, how the market can turn on those times is totally amazing. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about this free webinar that you're uh, going to give to the folks. Right. We do have a free webinar uh, coming up uh, after the market closed uh, tomorrow. Uh, and uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, we're, we're titling it, uh, uh, What's Working Now in Astro Trading? We try to do periodic reviews of uh, our, our market forecasts and uh, 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 our, our recent track record with our timing, as well as talk about some of the methodologies that we have available that we're using regularly. We also have membership programs uh, so that folks can take advantage of some special offers with that. Uh, so uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons the webinar is free, to give uh, folks a chance to take a look at what we're doing, uh, how it works, the mm -hmm. kind of track record we've got, uh, so that they can see if, if it's appropriate for them or not. Okay, now, Tim, does this uh, free webinar come with a money-back guarantee? Absolutely. Well, hey, that's the kind. As I like to say, we, we give like, you double your poverty back like. if you don't like it. Right? Okay. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about these two books that uh, you're you're talking about. I think those both but those are pretty much uh, beginning books, aren't they? Or uh, well, uh, for, different degrees here. We we've got uh, uh, oh, Mercury. Wait, we got we got we got to pay a few bills. Okay. And uh, if you don't mind, we'll be right back with Tim Boss of Financial Weekly. Thank you, my friend. We'll be right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Tom O'Brien published the 900th issue of his weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, on July 22nd. It's amazing he started The Gold Report more than 17 years ago when gold was trading at only $252. To celebrate, we're having a special Tiger Dollar sale. 
Right now, you can spend only $495, and we'll give you 200 extra Tiger Dollars. So you'll end up with 695 Tiger Dollars, which is the yearly price of the Gold Report. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service, and this offer is open to new and current subscribers. With gold making six-year highs and gold mining equities trading higher, this is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report at a dramatic savings. For all the details, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This deal ends July 31st, so don't miss out. Get your Tiger Dollars and sign up today for the Gold Report 900th issue sale. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Tim Boss of Financial Cycles Weekly about these uh, two books that he's uh, talking about. Uh, Tim, after you go over with these books, uh, I would like to go over those upcoming astro trading dynamics again. Could we do okay. that? Surely. Oh, so no tell, tell us about the books, and then we'll go over these, uh, right. these trading uh, dates. Yeah, very, very briefly, uh, both of these books are, are available on Amazon.com. They continue to provide good service in delivering things like that. Uh, Mercury Money and the Markets uh, is about profitable planetary cycles for short-term astro trading. Uh, and it's really, a, as you say, kind of a beginner's level book. If you've not had a lot of experience with astro trading, this will give you a, an introduction to some of the methodologies that that we use. Uh, we, of course, pay attention to the Mercury retrograde periods in this book, but there are other Mercury dynamics as well, uh, including uh, correlations with gold trading cycles. And uh, this book also includes uh, a 201 year uh, ephemeris, a listing of all the Mercury retrogrades uh, dates uh, coming up uh, for two centuries. Uh, so uh, it's a great reference book to keep on hand as well. Uh, Bitcoin Astrology is an anthology of articles about astrological perspective perspectives on Bitcoin markets. Uh, I edited the book and contributed a couple chapters. Uh, we also have uh, contributions by Bill Meridian, Consala Moreira, uh, Christine Skinner, and Wendy Stacy, uh, who uh, added uh, their perspectives on Bitcoin. Uh, we wanted to kind of uh, establish some groundwork in terms of what we're looking at astrologically with Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, uh, so far, this is the only book that I know of that has focuses on uh, that particular dynamic in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, so if you're interested in Bitcoin, we recommend that one highly, uh, and it includes a lot of reference uh, charts there as well. Uh, as far as these uh, uh, upcoming astro trading dynamics, what we're looking at uh, really coordinates uh, with that uh, chart uh, that I provided uh, all of those uh, uh, turning points that we're flagging uh, between now and the end of October correspond with these different planetary stations. Uh, the times when uh, planets are beginning or ending retrograde motion is essentially what we're talking about with all of that. As I mentioned uh, during the first segment here, one of the key dates we're paying attention to is coming up on August 11th uh, when we have both a Jupiter direct station and a Uranus retrograde station on the same day. Uh, so we think that's going to be a pretty significant uh, point uh, in the markets. Of course, that comes on a Sunday, so we could see uh, things hit. Uh, hitting with that as early as Friday the 9th or as late as uh, Monday uh, the 12th. So we're looking for that weekend as kind of a, a major pivot point uh, with uh, the markets. Uh, then at the end of August, uh, we've got another trans-Neptunian factor 
at Mitos on August uh, 31st that's uh, making a retrograde station uh, there. Uh, so what we're looking at is really uh, for much of the month of August, for about a three-week period, a potential downturn uh, between the 11th and the 31st uh, with that uh, chart uh, we provided. What we're looking at is that uh, downward swing in the cycle uh, from point B to point C, uh, with C being that uh, August 31st uh, Admetos retrograde station. Uh, then in September, a move back up into the 12th of September with a, a Cupido uh, direct station, another of the trans-Neptunian factors, uh, and then a pullback from there to September 18th, uh, about a one-week uh, move to the downside uh, with the Saturn direct station on the 18th of September. Uh, then w the next couple of uh, major astrological signals that we're looking at come up in October uh, around the 10th to the 12th. Uh, we've got uh, uh, two other trans-Neptunian factors, Hades and Kronos, uh, both going retrograde at that time frame. We're looking for that as a, a significant low in the, the trading dynamic uh, with a move back uh, uh, upwards uh, slightly toward uh, the end of the month uh, when we get a, uh, another uh, date on the 31st of October with two retrograde stations occurring simultaneously, the trans-Neptunian Vulcanus as well as Mars. Uh, one of the inner planets. So that, that should be a very impactful day uh, as well. And of course, that's the, the deadline for the Brexit uh, uh, business <laughs> also. Uh, so yeah, right. we'll be focusing on change, Halloween a lot this year. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. We'll have hey, to Tim, put on our, our mask. Tim, I, I hate to show my ignorance, but these trans Neptunian things are really beyond my pay grade. When you talk about Poseidon, uh, uh, Demetos, and uh, Cupido, is that related to Cupid, the... Uh, <laughs> Well, the, the, the names are, uh, you know, always plucked from mythology kind of arbitrarily. Okay. Uh, th this all goes back to some work that was done uh, back during World War I uh, by a German astrologer named Alfred Witte, uh, who was very fascinated with observing uh, battlefield phenomena, actually in the trenches in World War I, and mm -hmm. uh, seeing that, uh, that he would expect things to happen based on astrological timing and actual events would occur at other times. So he figured there must be other planets uh, out there impacting things. So he developed what uh, he called hypothetical planets, uh, figuring out where they would have to be in order to, uh, uh, for everything to work out astrologically. And then about uh, 15, uh, 20 years ago, uh, thanks to some of our space telescopes, we discovered the Kuiper Belt, which is way outside the orbit of Pluto. Uh, and it's a whole bunch of thousands of little teeny uh, objects in space, <laughs> and uh, all of these correspond with the orbits that Vita had calculated uh, back in uh, 1915. Uh, and so uh, we, we now have uh, physical objects uh, uh, that match uh, some of uh, uh, his uh, speculative uh, 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 dynamics. And so we, we factor those in as long-term, slow-moving uh, uh, kind mm -hmm. of uh, baseline factors in our calculations. Well, you just described why Newton and Einstein were so involved with astrology. When you look at this, this is really, uh, really, really quite amazing. Anyway, listen, I want to thank you for being on our show today. We're going to have you on again, of course. And if I get down to that area sometime in the near future, we'll have lunch and visit like we always do. So Absolutely. Hey, hey, did, always did, look forward to that. Is the red tide finally gone down there? Is it disappeared? Yeah, we, we've had a good bit of rain here lately, and uh -huh. uh, it's dissipated a lot of the red tide activity. Uh, uh -huh. But... Uh, uh, it's it's you know we, we, the major problem here is the runoff mm -hmm. from all the golf courses, the fertilizer going into the Gulf of Mexico. And, uh -huh. Oh, uh, fer that, fertilizer! That I'm familiar with that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, give us the for those of those that are not uh, in their cars and stuff. Uh, what is the uh, address for the uh, uh, webinar that you're going to have tomorrow? Webinar is a shortened link. Uh, it is bit.ly bit.ly slash Astro now and A S T R O is all caps, N O W is lowercase. So bit.ly slash astro now and that is case sensitive, so you need to put in A S T R O in caps and then N O W uh, lowercase immediately after that. Well, those of you who are out there that have trouble with that kind of stuff, just drop me an email and I'll send you the link. <laughs> Good. Make it easy. Hey, listen, Bubba, I really appreciate you being on again. You're really a joy to have on, and I, I love your chart. Uh, we'll certainly be watching those dates. And you know, Tim, if you get one of them right, we're going to have you on again. How's that? 
Oh, well, okay. <laughs> we'll see if we All can right, make that happen. Listen, thank you so much, my friend. Yes, it's delightful thank to have you some for, time Thank with you us. for the salutations. I appreciate it. Indeed, indeed. You bet. Okay, folks, we'll be right back. We want to review the euro here a little bit and uh, to see how things are jumping around. We're having a lot of volatility today, which is uh, something we always like to see. So we'll pay you know, close attention to that as we uh, move through the old spectrum here of uh, holy moly macaroni. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, so uh, Russ asked to review the S&P. I'll just show you what the AI is showing for today. Uh, we had a high forecast at about 8, 8.30, up around 30.28. We're now 30.04. Uh, the bottom, if it's going to be correct, it should happen between 11 and 12 o'clock. And remember, this thing is only right some of the time. It's like everything else. you got to pay your money and take your choice and take the responsibility. So it's in an uptrend, so there should be a bounce somewhere between 11.30 and 12 o'clock, and that should be for the rest of the day. But let me explain something to you about failures. If this market uh, doesn't make a bottom by 12.30, 1 o'clock, that means it's going to be down the whole rest of the day, and you don't want to fool around with those kind of things because they get very, very nasty.
Wednesday. So uh, pay close attention to that as you uh, look at some of these things unfold, and you'll be able to see that. So, uh, Ruby, the sugar is held. The sugar is held. So we're worried about you, but we went right down to that uh, 1160 area. We're now trading above that 12 bucks now. That's good. Put your stop at break even, darling, and you should be okay. That's what it looks like to me, so pay attention. The coffee, we're still under a little pressure in coffee. We've come down now 16 cents, and I think that we will be able to uh, have a take a look at that coffee at around uh, 96 bucks uh, a pound. No, 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 ninety-six dollars a pound. It, I th yeah, no, it's nine dollars and six. No, ninety-six dollars a pound. Yeah, the way they do it for coffee, not what you buy in the store, of course, but the bulk stuff. So we'll watch that one a little bit later. Uh, now another thing, uh, those of you that belong to the twenty-four-seven family, folks, we we've got we've got some of the most incredible volatility coming in the month of August and September that we've seen in a long time. This is based on long-term studies that uh, relate to probability and what's happened in the past uh, based on you know past things you just move them forward but between august and september there's going to be some really wild things happening and i've got a new video program now thanks to john uh, that uh, snag it that makes it a whole lot easier for me to get this out to you and folks i know you're not going to believe this but i'm actually considering social network Oh, my God, who is that speaking? Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.